following our killer. Um, let's see. We're going this way. And I, and I was constantly contemplating on whether I could leave these hunters alive or not. And the game is determined to make me kill them by constantly making my tutorials basically designed for you to try out killing attacks on them. It's like the game is basically pushing me to murder them. Um, and since I want blood so I can evolve and get more powers and play around with this a lot more, I have a distinct urge to want to kill them. Like, I, I don't want to kill any innocents. I, I will absolutely go out of my way to try not to do that. But these guys, since they're trying to kill me, even though it's, it, you can understand where they're coming from, you are a vampire. <laughs> like, as far as they're concerned, you've already murdered like 50 people, right? Like, you, as far as they're concerned, you might as well have turned a town they don't know about yet into a ghost town because you drained everybody dry. And who knows how many vampires you've sired and thrown out into the world to continue murdering innocent people. Can't get mad at them for that. But they're also trying to kill me. And I do want to live. So if I have to kill people to survive, I don't mind killing the people I have to defend myself against. Um, I feel like that's a flawed moral viewpoint. But at the same time, it's a I feel like it's also a necessity of survival. Um, but I'm going to try to let these guys live when I can. Um, I get the feeling there are going to be certain times, like a boss or something, or a mini boss, or just some kind of challenge, where they're just going to stick me in a room, lock all the doors, and I don't get out until everybody's dead. <laughs> so I kind of get the feeling that that might happen. And that may happen because of choices I make with different characters and stuff like that. So it may be something I can't afford. Um, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So let's follow Blood Trail. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh, level. What do the numbers mean? Oh, fuck. I accidentally. I didn't stun him. Uh, does that mean he's level four? Or does that mean I'm level three? Because I've been like level three for a bit. I'm trying not to kill you, dude. I, I really am. Man, let's try my dog. Oh, wow. Whoa. Did not expect that. Okay. That was an accident. I just wanted to try out my claws move because I had it. I did not think that that was going to kill him. I had no idea that was enough damage to kill him. <laughs> My ammunition crate. Ooh. Good. Oh, oh, my I bad guy. Need a lot of bullets. Oh, I am. I feel oh, like I'm sorry back about on that. The <laughs> I, I, wow. <laughs> I didn't know it was that strong, or you were that weak. <laughs> I thought you could take one hit. I was wrong. <laughs> All right, let's jump up here and avoid these guys before I make another mistake and murder five people. <laughs> oh, jeez. You ever have one of those days <laughs> where you were sure that it was going to go this way and then it's catastrophe locked. happened? <laughs> like, like, oh, man. Uh, so there's guys down there in that room, and there's a guy over there. <sighs> they make it really hard not to kill these guys, because they put them everywhere. And just for convenience and ease, you want to just murder them and be done with it. Not a good place for a stroll. Over there! There's one of them vermin! Uh, nope, that's not a... Ah! Ow! Okay, let's see. Um, that is... Not. Hey, stop that. Uh, come here. Give me my blood back. Maybe you can live your life. Uh, ah, fuck. Jeez. Yeah, it makes it real hard not to kill these guys simply because it becomes a necessity so you're not taking a shit ton of damage and nearly getting yourself fucking killed. It's like. And 
so when we first started the game my life bar absolutely at one point in time regenerated completely to full we didn't pick up any health items or anything like that so I was a sh uh, oh enemy card all right let's check this out so resistances some enemies are more resistant to certain types of damage there are four types of resistances physical ranged powers and shadow orange indicates a medium resistance red indicates a high resistance so they even have a system of basically rock paper scissors <laughs> so if they have a high if they have a physical melee resistance use something ranged use your blood powers use your shadow powers and so on and so forth okay okay um whoop, whoop. so resistances melee range oh he has he has high range resistance, medium physical resistance, and almost no resistance to blood and Oh, maybe that's why I maybe that's how I accidentally killed the other guy. Because he had no resistance to my uh to my powers, so it did like massive damage. Uh, it would have been nice if they'd have told me that a little earlier. It actually would have saved someone's life. <laughs> fucking retards alright so <clears throat> I don't have any shadow powers yet I'm gonna have to get I'm absolutely going to have to spec into the shadow ability so I can start sneaking around these guys so it looks like it's just these two but they're gonna harass me so this is gonna be a pain in the dick this one's mine yep 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 I know oh, oh, oh. Uh, I can't even actually explore the area because of these guys Stupid beast. fuck Fuck, they're everywhere. See, this is what I'm talking about. It almost forces me to kill them. So they can't, like... Oh, shit! Holy fuck! What the fuck was that? And my first death. See, so it's like... I probably should be killing these guys then. Because then things like that happen. And we also found out that you can't always just run past these guys and then they just, they're like, oh, he's out of sight, and they give up. They just group up into a gang and hunt you down. So it's like, well, you're giving me no other choice but to kill these guys. Otherwise, that's going to continue to happen. Hmm. Well, uh, unfortunately, the way this is going to go is I'm going to start murdering every single one of them. <laughs> Like, just, like, the, the killing's gonna be, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> you and your people are supposed to paint my dick. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> and, don't think I've forgotten about you, crossbow boy. Ah, oh, I missed it. Come here. You're all a bunch of bitches, too. I'm literally a newborn. <laughs> but it's a video game, so of course all of the enemies are weak. Let's head back to a warm fire. Shut that foolish mouth of yours. You ever know McCullum to be wrong about anything? Right. No time I can remember. But I've only been part of the guard three weeks to the day. All the more reason to shut it, Mr. Billy. If the man says a bloodsucker's dug in here, you've got one job, and that's to find it. And find it fast. That's fair enough, Tom. But why do they hide where it's so damn cold? <laughs> I like, it's a nice touch that you can hear them talking. Huh, three weeks on the job, huh? It's going to be the shortest of his career, because I'm going to kill them. <laughs> I know, I'm, like, I'm investigating a murder and leaving behind a trail of bodies at the exact same time. It, it is the most ironic twist they could do. <laughs>
I don't think I can get to the other guy without that guy seeing me, but I don't think I can get to that guy without that guy seeing me. So we'll go for this guy because he's closer. Yeah, I bet you do. Steady boy! Yep, I think so. Come here. Oh, come from Izzy. Alright, now it's just us. Okay, that's what the that's what the weakness. That's what the resistance is. Whoa. Nope. <laughs> so, uh, we also just found out you can phase through attacks when you dodge. Or at least your dodge has some form of invincibility. It's all very dark. It's all very dark souls with that particular uh, mechanic. All right. Yeah, not killing these guys leaves you. It's just you can't even explore the area because they're constantly chasing you, shooting you, attacking you. It's like, well, balls. So I don't know if there are. Oh, another tasty treat. Uh, I need to get my blood back up too. So maybe when you start specking, oh yeah, 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 here we go. I could have went up there, I didn't even know. But I also didn't have the ability to look around and see if there were other ways I could do things because I had to get away from the guys because they do a lot of damage and they were trying to kill me. So it's like, uh, are you out here by yourself? I think you're out here by yourself. Best that turn around if I were you. Nope, because you're lunch. <laughs> 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 Dropped a goodie. Oh, shillings! I, 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 I killed and robbed. <laughs> so let's see what kind of vantage point we can get from up here. I do wish that instead of a prompt, it was an actual ability. Like we press, we would press, hold down our dodge button, and then we can aim and then just teleport up there. I, I wish it was more interactive rather than just press a button you go to this pre oh 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 There's last warning sir um what do you mean last warning that's this nest of them cleaned out hey oh. Oh. there we go guys stay down there I'll be to you in a moment I'm gonna make sure you don't have any uh, reinforcements up here I don't enjoy being shot it can't kill me usually on its own even though apparently a shotgun just murders me <laughs> um, uh, the fiery crossbow bolts I understand but the gunshots while hurting like hell and forcing me and not in a. Oh, 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 that's a guy. That's a guy. They're all looking up here at me. But that's this nest of them cleaned out. So I think there's three guys down here. Um. Bum, 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 bum. And they're all covering the exits. I'm not going to be able to get through without a, without a fight or getting shot to hell. I like their screams uh, when you're bird of a lie. Yeah, I know you do. Cause you're not all there. But I mean that happens like Steady boys! Uh, yeah, you you know, man. Man. Oh yeah, you guys stand there while I make a meal out of your friend while well, I make a meal out of your friend. Filthy yeah. piece of shit! Hitting certain parts, that's weird. Oh. oh no, he can just shoot through it. Okay, so that doesn't even serve as cover. Ooh. Really? Uh, the 
the delay on that. Seriously, there is honestly no reason why if I kill these guys with a machete and then they die in front of me, there's no reason I shouldn't be able to just pick them up and feed. Other than the developers being like, well, that would be too easy. <laughs> it's like, well, uh. <laughs> well, then come up with a good reason for why I can't do that, because otherwise it doesn't make any sense, now does it? <laughs> Alright. Let's see else yeah that that was all them I tried to run past them to spare them and all it did was get me killed um, so yeah it's a necessity like some of them I'm sure I'll be able to still spare at times um, just because there aren't so many of them and that one guy apparently was like an elite of some I cannot enter using senses or oh, often located near hideout I only have 715 XP because I haven't been murdering people. Are you guys working on XP at all? I can't believe I'm no. doing this. You guys aren't worth any XP at all. I don't know if I've been getting any XP, any blood XP from these guys. Uh, is I really hope the only way for me to really get um, reliable XP isn't just going around and, and uh, biting people because it's oh this must be a hide do they all have keep out on the front of the door you've just found a new hideout here you can spend your xp while resting or craft items at the workbench okay so lead plate common handle part <sighs> so yeah so that's my that's my biggest issue here do they make it so oh crap on a workbench, you can craft medical treatments to heal sick citizens, serums to boost yourself. Oh, so you also have like boost serums and weapon upgrades to improve and customize your weapons. You have enough components to improve one of your weapons. All right, right trigger. Yeah, I'm pre oh no, right trigger, not right bumper. Which one? Select a melee weapon to upgrade. I assume the knife? No, it says you can upgrade the sh stake. Did, do you cover it in something? That's the only way I could think how. Um, will it increase the stun rate on it though? Because at level one it says 10 stun. So will it increase the stun rate? And the stun rate allows me to feed more. I don't know if that's better or not. Rather than just getting outright damage. Because you need to stun them so you can bite them and get your blood back during battle. And that might be important later. Uh, sure. We'll do the stake. Level 2. Tiny. Oh, no. We don't have enough. Increase stun at 3 stun points when the weapon hits. Aluminum powder and aluminum shards. Which I have. But I can't get it to level 2 because I don't have the tiny common handle part or the lead stick. So you may, so inst so apparently instead of wood, you train you uh you turn it into a uh, it becomes a lead stick and then you coat it to make it do even more. But that lowers the stun value. It shows so that lowering the stun value. <laughs> Cuz level 2 15 stun and then 13 stun at 3 stun points when the weapon hits. So does that make it 16 then? That's weird. And then 10... Uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll have to wait until we have the components to check then. There we go. It's the knife that we can upgrade. Alright, let's do that. Increase damage dealt by 10%. So we can use the aluminum powder to increase it even more. But I'd rather wait to see if we can get the components for the uh, steak since that's basically our go-to for getting our blood back. So, let's wait on that. Oh, and I apparently picked up the dude's shotgun. That's probably worth using. What about the handgun? I do... Nope, nope, not, not that. I should probably use the guns more, but I 
kind of a, I'm a brawler myself. Um, so I love the idea of the, using the machete, the snake, and my claws. Nice build. Take the dead people's money. I mean, what is he going to do with it? <laughs> let's see. Alright, let's see what uh, blood abilities I get. Maybe at this point, I need to increase this. Because my regeneration sucks and I like it bad. Oh, that's right. I can use that as a health potion. I need to start doing that. Um, I'm definitely going to go into the regeneration tree. I wish I knew how the regeneration actually worked because it seems like sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't and I need 1300 blood just to get there and then 2000 for there so if I had eaten the two if I had eaten the the lady and the tavern owner from the turquoise turtle if I had drained them I'd have enough to get two upgrades right now Ugh. It, like, uh, it's, it's, it's so easy, though. Okay, so let's see. We have increased the damage inflicted when using bite in combat. That's 300. So we do have enough to get some more level 1 upgrades if we want. Increase your life regeneration when using bite in combat. Let's do that. Another three, increase your life regeneration when using bite in combat. Level two, increase your life using bite in combat. Okay, it's just it just keeps going up. 50%. Wow. And it's only two th oh there uh, okay, yeah, and it's only like two thousand. Hell, the doctor we were talking about would have allowed me to get both of these, no problem. He was worth six thousand blood experience. Uh, increase your blood capacity. Uh, increase my health. Uh, I have enough to do one more thing. Increase your blood absorption when using bite in combat. So I get more blood back when I bite. Do I want to do that or do I want to increase my blood capacity? Or perhaps my health. Um, life regeneration and increase the damage of my bite plus 100%. Well, if I'm going to be Yeah, if I'm going to be biting a lot, I'm I'm assuming that th this only translates into combat, not when you maybe bite someone else, but there doesn't seem to be any such thing as the little drink. And basically the little drink and um va like vampire lore or vampire uh mainstream vampire uh, knowledge is basically when a vampire bites you and only needs to take like maybe a cup of your blood and it doesn't kill you um, it, it, it keeps them at full strength and they don't have to kill you and then they just seal up the holes and you know send you on your way and mesmerize you to forget um, so but in this, it seems like, no, you bite your victim, your victim dies. Well, then again, that's not true because your enemies aren't like that. So there's a discontinuity there. there that doesn't actually work. It seems if you bite a civilian, you instantly kill them, like you did with your sister. But you were, you were of course, newly born with your sister. Of course, the first person you bit, you were going to drain dry. Um, eh. I don't think I need the increase in health and blood right now, but let's increase our stamina. Let's actually increase our stamina, because we use that a lot. One hundred fifty. We do use a lot of stamina. Like you never, you you could basically never have enough stamina.
Is there a change of clothes anywhere? I mean, seriously. It would be nice. Do our enemies respawn? Yes, they do. They absolutely do. This is actually a good chance to see if they give us experience. You pay for that? No, I won't. Watch it! It's a killer! Bloody oh, it is. Kind of force me. Oh, you, uh, I would really like obstacles to be obstacles. Ugh. Yay. Some obstacles are obstacles. Now I have to figure out which obstacles are obstacles and which obstacles aren't obstacles. XP, my only XP in this game cannot come from eating civilians. Like, that's, that's ridiculous. Especially when these are humans that I can drain for blood. <sighs> Which basically forces me back to the whole, I have to kill people. And so what, so the choice isn't whether you will or won't kill, it's who you will kill. So it's like, okay, so you got to sacrifice somebody. Who are you going to sacrifice? That, okay. I mean, so much for being able to morally decide stuff. But I mean, it's early in the game, so... It's early in the game, so we'll save our reservation. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. Like, I, I do have to, it, it's still early in the game, maybe that will change as we go. But that's, to say that the game is based on moral dilemmas and stuff, and then force you to only be able to grow through the death of innocent people, kind of takes that choice out of your hands. Because if you have human targets to feed off of, ooh, an axe. Oh no, a scythe. Two-handed weapon, equip two-handed weapon, and press Y to use its special ability. The scythe, for instance, can be used to parry an incoming attack, inflicting heavy stun damage if timed correctly. You're my last and dearest friend. Sure, we'll. Oh no, wrong one. We will. Let's let's check that out. Let's check that out. So, if you parry right. Okay, now I have to remember how to Damn it. I have to remember how to switch weapons. Oh, that's right. How do I put it in a slot to be used? Please let go of me. No, I might want to get over there before he bites that guy. That's probably like some kind of timed event. That may be a timed event where I need to get over there before he actually bites him and loses his shit and, and actually kills him. Um, I'm going to have to figure out how I'm actually even supposed... Because, my apologies, I forget exactly how I'm supposed to switch my weapons. Uh, let's see about... Use item, use item, switch off hand, switch main hand, vampiric checkup, vampiric skills, medical checkup, off hand, main hand, dodge hold, interaction, spring hold, embrace, camera lock, walk jog, vampiric skills, mesmerize. Hmm. So then it has to be within, it has to be here. This has to be how you do it. 
But there didn't seem to be inventory weapons. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. That's why. So it's two handed, so I'm gonna have to. Uh, yeah. Probably not the time to try this out, because it looks like it's such a boss. This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. Well, I tried. To, I guess I can't parry this. Oh, what was that? Oh, that's okay. no. Fuck you. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button too. There we go. Ooh, it's a slow weapon. Oop. This reminds me of something. Like, just the way we're fighting. There we go, come here. My turn. Oh, oh, you do not taste good. <laughs> oh, what have you been eating? Oh, you've just been eating random junk, haven't you? Good, but I would have actually, I would have rather have had the uh, the steak would have been far better here. Uh, now, what to do with you? William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Could you? Mr. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well. Another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir. Listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I am a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must uh -oh. return to my flock. They'll stray without me. Remember, well, certain well, well, skulls well, are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by skull? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You, you are the woman, woman from the yeah. bar. Are you like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. Really? You're going to be a bitch about this? Uh, we don't know how vampire society works in this game, so I guess, okay. I guess the newborns are just left to fend for themselves. Even though that could cause By huge George issues, the Saints, you've like the guy the that was going on a murdering spree. <laughs> Patient.